prices for weight loss drugs is pushing many employers to drop insurance coverage in order to cut costs. Now the makers of two of the most popular weight loss and diabetes drugs are facing a major lawsuit over claims about potential side effects. CBS's Janet Shimlian has the details. They've been game changers in the world of weight loss. The drugs Ozempic and Mountjaro delivering big results, generally without dangerous side effects. But a lawsuit filed today against manufacturers Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly claims otherwise, saying the drugs can cause stomach paralysis. I shared that I tried Ozempic. This is what happened to me, stomach paralysis. It's not a good feeling. I almost called 911 because of it. Listen up, listen up. Something they claim happened to their client, a 44-year-old Louisiana woman who took the drugs for type 2 diabetes and weight loss. I don't have diabetes, but I was doing it for weight loss. Her problems have been so severe that she's been to the emergency room multiple times, including last weekend. She's actually even uh, thrown up so violently that she's lost teeth. Stomach paralysis can be a side effect of diabetes, which the drugs are commonly prescribed for. Rhea Hand, who is not involved in the lawsuit, has had similar issues with Ozempic. The stomach pain was just unbearable and I just couldn't keep anything down. I would, ha I would drink something and within minutes, like five, ten minutes later, I would be throwing it right up. My wife Nadia, my friend Issa and his wife are witnesses to this because they were the ones I were talking to. When I didn't know what to do, I was so scared that I almost called 911 with the stomach pain I was experiencing. Never felt anything like that before in my life. More than 40% of Americans are obese, and demand for the medications has soared. They aren't cheap. A one-month supply can cost more than $1,300. But now the University of Texas system says it will end insurance coverage for the FDA-approved weight loss drugs Wagovi and Sexenda in September. Other employers are increasing the copay amount. Some consider the moves a setback, as obesity has only recently been treated as a disease by many health plans instead of a lifestyle choice. The drugs are labeled with side effects, most commonly that stomach pain, nausea, and constipation. CBS News did reach out to the drug companies, Eli Lilly telling us patient safety is a top priority, and Novo Nordisk saying that it was unaware of the lawsuit, but is constantly monitoring the safety of its products. Reminder, Ozempic is over $300 billion in sales. It's a business.